So seriously guys, Camel Crusher is probably one of the best free plugins, distortion plugins out there. It's capable of just like really subtle distortion on groups or on masters or completely destroying your sound using the more beef preset. So maybe it should have been called Cow Crusher. All download links are in the description below. Check them out. Let's do it. Oh. Okay, so the two things that I might like using it on the most is vocal chops and mid-bass distortion. Mid-bass is so important. I think I might make a video just dedicated to mid-bass actually. But this is my original mid-bass here. Meh. But after Camel Crusher. Yes, that's all I have to say, yes. On the vocal chops, this is what it sounds like before them. After Camel Crusher. You can hear it just helps it shine, gives it a little bit of glisten. If I play this in context with the rest of the song. Sounding awesome. But basically, there is, it's really simple plug in this actually. There's only four modules. So basically, it's got master, uh, sorry, it's got distortion, a filter, a compressor, and your master. The master is just a simple dry wet control and an output volume control. Dry signal. Completely wet signal. Simple as that. The volume is just a simple output volume. Just does the same as any other volume control. The filter section actually acts as a high cut filter like this. So lowering this cut off actually lowers the cut off like this. And the resonance control controls the resonance like this. It's nice just having a visual representation so you can see exactly what's going on. This is really good. I find the filters really good for just removing those high frequencies that you've distorted in there because they can mess up the rest of your song. You can hear it's got quite a lot of crunch in there, but what you can do, you can just get that right zone, find that right zone, that right amount of crunch so it fits in with the rest of your track. Another really thing that I like to do with this, uh, automate, what I like to do is automate this cutoff control here. And this is great for dubstep growls and wobbles and things like that. And then maybe we can just duplicate that again. Let's we'll see how that goes. Once you start modulating this stuff, this is where you start getting some really interesting results. Now you can modulate any of these controls on here, which is really cool. So next up we have the compressor setting and the compressor works best on like say vocals, something that has a dynamic range to it where that sub bass, that mid bass was just pretty compressed already, like pretty flat. So this here, let's turn the compressor right down and listen to what it sounds like. You can hear these tails in here, they're a little bit quieter, but once I compress it, yeah, that reverb tail just comes to life and it just makes it fill out a lot better. Now I'm pretty sure this is just a fixed ratio and it's lowering the threshold. And then when you add, turn on fat mode, it probably turns the ratio to like infinite and then just acts as a limiter instead of a compressor. Like you can just hear how crunched and how compressed that is now, but let's just turn that down a little bit, shall we? So the next module, which is probably the coolest part is the distortion module. Now the tube knob here is probably my favorite knob. Never thought I'd say those words, <laughs> but this is like how you add subtle saturation to like a group or something like that. So the mech is all the way down and let's just play with this tube section. Can you hear how it makes it feel warmer and it doesn't destroy it? You can throw this on a group, lift up that tube thing a little bit, that tube knob, and then it'll just help it warm up. But if you want to destroy it, 
Yeah, this is where the mech knob comes in. So let's crank this up because we want to destroy it. And let's just turn this mech knob up. Straight away, it's just like... The mech is for completely destroying it. The tube is for adding subtle warmth. This plugin is actually capable of quite a lot once you understand how to use it. Now, on top of all of that, if you can't make a preset that you like, no worries. You can hit the randomize button. Damn. That one's actually pretty sick. You know what? I'm going to save that. So I'm going to click in here. I'm going to go save bank or save preset. Let's just call it cow crusher. Save. Boom. I've got that saved for later. Let's go through and see if we can make any more cool ones. I'm trying to think mid-bass territory here. Putting a little bit too much low end in there. Yeah, so this, this plugin is actually capable of doing a lot. You can automate any one of these controls in here. You can randomize all of your setting all of the settings until you come up with something that, that works well for your song. Then you can save that preset and use it later in any of your other songs. I actually can't believe this plugin is free. There's only one downside to this thing, and it's for you Logic users. I am about 99% sure that you can't use this on Logic. It just doesn't work anymore, so. I apologize if you're a Logic user, but Ableton users, FL users, download this thing from my website because it is an absolute beast. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.